All right. Stupid, forbidden, whatever fireplace. Ah. Uh. A library full of intact slide reels hidden deep underground. There is a con really. You don't have anything to say about how we waited till a bunch of people died. There is a container marked with one of the vault seals, but its contents have been destroyed. I found a slide reel that shows the origin of the stranger and its inhabitants. Intact slides reveal the sacrifice that was made to build the stranger. Yeah, that's sad. I found a slide reel that appears to be some sort of error report. It shows one of the stranger's inhabitants jumping off a raft during a transition between areas and falling below the world. Hang on, let's go check this one. Uh, I found a slide reel that shows two artifacts being lit near a green fire. Yeah. Here's to be sort of error report. It shows an alarm bell failing to wake up one of the stranger's inhabitants. Oh. Okay. Maybe this is not related to the light at all? Because we need to just not wake up, right? Okay, let's watch this video. Anger burning. Uh, is it not going to show it to us? Oh, switch slideshow. Oh, oh my goodness. That's been an ability we had all along. All right, so this guy goes in. He has good brainwave. There we go. This guy's old. He has bad brainwave, doesn't even make it to the machine. What's that? Sucks to be so close. Oh, hold on. Oh. But he's okay. Oh, I see. Sorry. Sorry. It says, I found a slide reel that shows two artifacts being lit near a green fire, which is where I stopped every time I read that line. The first artifact lights after its bearer falls asleep, and the second artifact lights after its bearer dies. Interesting. Okay, so falling asleep and dying are essentially the same thing as far as these artifacts are concerned. So if I'm dead and I cannot be woken up, is that what it's telling me? I can get in there by dying instead of by falling asleep. And then in this slide, it fails to wake up the dead guy, right? Okay. All right. That's actually pretty clear. I just didn't really put two and two together when I was when I saw it before. That guy is dead. How do I I mean this is a morbid question, but how do I kill myself while I'm in that room? I walk into the fire to burn. And I take my suit off while I'm in there. Oh. Expend all the oxygen, maybe. Alright. I think that's the solution. We have to use up our, all of our oxygen. Okay. I, I, you know what? That's the solution. That's a good solution. Like, <laughs> it's not a... Killing yourself is never the solution. Do not, you know, do not take what I say about this video game context, please, you know. Um, no, I appreciate how clear the the animation was very clearly telling us that's the case. The guy, the guy falls over dead, 
And then his lantern lights and he even shows a little spotlight on the lantern. I didn't clue into that. I didn't really have a reason to clue into it though. Until now. But that's good. That's good visual storytelling. Visual storytelling? Yeah, visual storytelling, visual clue giving. Well, I started on the killing myself process a little early there. Um, right, okay, here we go. I think we've got this figured out. So, I need to go into the room. We're not going to... Yeah, we're not going to the first shrine. We don't want to be interrupted by that. Uh, by the the water wiping us out because as we've seen even if they're already dead their consciousness is somehow tied to their body's existence oh it's tied to the campfire that's what it is that makes sense so if the campfire gets put out then they uh they stop existing all right so we'll go to the, se the second tower here Got the artifact. Ah, is there an artifact around here? We'll go check the projection room. Oh, come on. Maybe there's one over there. Let's go look at this. The shrine they burned down. So, what were they upset about with the with the eye? It was like the eye was going to destroy everything. Is that what it was? Or was it just, like, not the answer to everything that they were searching for? Um... Dang it. There better be an artifact around here somewhere. Why did they wipe that out? Oh. Who was in here? I know we've already been here and seen this. I don't remember. Oh yes, right. The secret passage back of the tower. Was there an art no, there was no artifact up there. I've been over that <laughs> in the past. Um I sure hope there's one in here. Okay. For the last time, I guess we're going back to that third shrine. Is there not another boat? Oh. Oh dear. Oh, there's another boat over there. Yep. Oh, this boat's no good because it goes straight there. We want to go to the right. Go back to this one. Not a big deal. Oh man, walking 10 meters over here is no good. We'll have to walk 15 meters over here. Right here instead. Oh. 
That's some rocky water. So we do know that there is an artifact in that projection room there. Uh oh. Surely something's not working right if it, the lights went low. Is that just purely coincidence that this place fails at the same time? Like, the dam breaks in here. Did they organize it that that would happen when the universe is ending? It's probably just coincidence. Convenient coincidence for us, apparently. Turns out it was very helpful. Nope. I'm not supposed to do that. I'm supposed to wake. Wait, can I wake up here? No. I have to deoxygenate myself. Let's jump in the water, or jump off a cliff into the water, I guess. Whee. Whoosh. <gasps> All right. So now that we're in here, just use up the fuel. Or can I jump on the fire? Oh, I can jump on the fire. And roast myself. Do I wake up? <gasps> I do wake up. Hey, hey, hey. For, for a moment there, I thought it was just going to start showing me my memories. And, uh, and I'd feel pretty silly. But I'm not silly. Yes. So there you go. In the end, roasting marshmallows was the answer. They never said my name because they didn't want to spoil that. My name is Marshmallows. Is that the ending song? No. No, we haven't. The dam hasn't even broken yet, right? Have I just completely lost track of time here? Maybe. There we are. No risky moves because we won't wake up if we make a bad one. Where the chain goes. All right. Take me down to the paradise city. 
Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. It's healed. Lights are out. Extinguished. Amazing. Incredible. I think we've done it. That's funny, eh? It took until, like... Well, until me just finding that on its own to realize that the three shrines we were... Oh. I think the three shrines we were doing actually were telling us how to unlock the seals here. I was thinking just because the seals were burnt out that we were going to have to find them somewhere else. I, I didn't see how that was going to happen. Alright. Moment of truth. We do not... Oh yeah, it doesn't even slow us down. We don't even hear it? That's interesting. Why wouldn't we hear that? I don't mind though, because it means I can do this. I guess that's something... Oh, we know, we learned that from doing the second shrine. I was going to say that that's something that could have helped us in the second shrine, but... Yeah. Oh, whoops, I forgot to put this down. <laughs> this is so cool. I just love this whole simulation thing. I never would have expected this from this game. Honestly. Like, space exploration game. Go out and check out the planets. Find a ring world, because that's a cool sci-fi thing. And then it turns out you're doing stuff in a simulation dream world. Completely out there. It's really well done. It doesn't feel out of place. This is this was this is the best twist was the fact that you could just put that artifact down. Best twist in any game. Uh, I guess the dam broke. Oh, I want to open this. I don't know why I got scared there. I was expecting a monster or something to come out. I'm allowed to walk in here, right? Oh. Oh, jeez. Well, I hope you're not claustrophobic. I'm not normally, but right now I'm feeling it a little bit. Oh. Stairs. Okay. Alright. For some reason that makes me feel better. Okay. How do they build this inside the casket? Light this place up. Oh, is there uh, the initial observation for the eye? Telescope. Oh, geez, that worried me a little bit. Can I have a look in here? All right. Okay, so they, what's down there? There's a thing down there. So they locked this away because they were upset that they found the eye and so on. I guess. Oh. All right. Let's turn out the lights. Oh, okay. Hmm. Is that a harp? One string harp. Oh, nice. Oh, fuck. Oh. 
Okay. He's missing an antler. He must be friendly. Can I approach you? Uh, I'm going to approach you, but Talk to the prisoner. Why? Are you oh, this is the guy that found the place? Or found the eye? That's so cruel of them. That's so mean. You seriously went to all this trouble just to lock this guy up? What the? Who are you? You gonna give me the ability to understand language? Lights. At least they left him with some things down here. Cool. Yeah, okay, so he did a bad deed. Wow, that seems like a lot of trouble to go to just to prison this guy. So, I don't fully understand what's up with the eye echoes in the first place. What is that? That's just a signal it's sending out, right? Does it actually do anything? Why would they want to stop that from happening? Why would he want to make it happen again? It really makes sense. Okay. Pick that up. Take the vision torch. Hi. Project. Oh. Hold on. Try again. Oh, nice. Okay, so... Wow, they got wiped out by that. That was beautiful. A 
bow my head to you too. Oh. Oh, don't leave me in here. Hey. Why couldn't we both go up? I'm dead, by the way. To get to here. Here I am. Wait, now what? Is he just gone? Where's my buddy? Oh wait, he probably went up this way. Buddy! Where'd he go? Is that a projection there? Yeah. See right there. Oh. Where's he at? Is that him over there? But where's... Where's my friend? He just put... Did he just... Suicide? Is that what happened? That is freaking sad.
Ah, uh, I am not walking into that lake. That makes me sad. Calling this down and heading up. What an amazing place, though. That's it. There you go. I met one of the stranger's inhabitants who was imprisoned within the vault. The prisoner showed me a vision revealing the actions they took that resulted in their eternal confinement. I used the vision torch to share my knowledge of the solar system's history with the prisoner. The prisoner left one final vision for me by the water's edge as a farewell. Wow. That is a heck of a... a punishment there. Well, that seems to be it. That is it for the Echoes of the Eye. And that also marks the end of my adventures here in Outer Wilds. This was a brilliant game. I really enjoyed my time in it, except for a couple of things probably guess which ones but uh yeah other than the comet and <laughs> that first shrine puzzle this this is absolutely brilliant i'm going to miss being in this solar system the stranger the echoes of the eye expansion part was certainly more um Spooky is the word, really. It was just more spooky than I feel was appropriate for for this game. I, I do feel this game had a much more relaxed uh, overall atmosphere to it. So, I don't know. I guess it was a different take on what you could do with this game. But the puzzles in it are pretty darn cool. I have to say, my all-time favorite puzzle was everything to do with the Quantum Moon. I I got all the hints. The only reason I didn't get on the quantum moon much sooner is because I was kind of being silly about it. I wasn't launching the scout and taking a picture immediately. I was launching the scout into the quantum moon. It was very, very clear from the hints that they gave that you're supposed to take a picture of the moon from the outside. So I love how all those different hints came together, how they were presented in the first place, and then how they came together and, uh, and really led to you speaking with one of the nomai that was so cool like that's definitely a a good reward for having put in the time to to figure it out there is on giant's deep that whole puzzle i think that was the most fun puzzle was the going down and you using the quantum uh, awareness or whatever to find your way down into the next level going down through that big tower that was the most fun puzzle by far uh, the quantum moon itself was the most well put together I think the bramble certainly was scary so they definitely got some of that experience in the in the dark bramble there I love the twins the ash ash and ember twin rotating each, around each other and the the sand mechanic 
applies to so many different things. It's really well thought out. That was just really cool. And then the teleportation on it, that one for getting into the center, holy cow. That one, I feel there wasn't really good signaling on it. Like there was no real hint towards it. You just had to get there by deduction, right? Like, all right, every other tower leads to some place. What's this tower for? And then figure out how to actually use it. Um, but I thought that was a pretty reasonable thing to figure out how to use it. Yeah. And of course the uh, Brittle Rock, wherever that is. I don't know where it is right now. Where's Brittle Rock? Maybe it's on the other side of the, planet, the sun. Brittle Rock was really cool. Uh, that's that's just like such a neat concept. Your planet is hollow and falling in on itself into a black hole that's linked to a white hole somewhere else. That's just so cool. And navigating it was fun and um, and like, yeah, that's brilliant. Brilliant. This game has so much brilliant stuff in it. And I do love the ending of the, the base game. It had a very uh, very well put together ending that, that does bring it all together. Did a great job of that. The ending to the Echoes of the Eye does a good job of tying it in with the, the whole Know My storyline. I'll be honest, I don't really understand the point of the signal coming from the eye and how how it negatively affected the guys on the stranger. I still don't know what their species name is, but whatever, it did. It upset them for some reason. And it made them very scary people. I'd say the only thing I did not enjoy exploring was the sun itself. <laughs> Flying into the sun. I'm just kidding. The comet. The comet's the one thing that really angers me. No, that is that was so much fun. Presentation, I've already said this a few times. Just visually amazing. This is exactly what you want from a space game. Like, look at this. Look at this. You can look out and see all the stars and navigate the solar system. Complete freedom in navigation here. You got your, you got your great little map of the solar system. You can target things for getting around. You got your ship logs. It's all just so well done. You got a little bit of survival where you have to actually repair your ship when you crash it into things. Instead of it just bouncing off and you being immortal. It's so well done. The audio is brilliant. I've talked about the cues being good. You know, like the... Especially on the stranger. Every every time you hear the dam breaking, it's like, Oh, I know where I am at in the loop. And I know what sort of things are going to follow from that. And uh, the sounds being slowed down when you're in the simulation there. Very Inception-like. It's well done. Um, the mechanics, I'll, I'll be honest, the jump mechanic was a little clunky and I never found a reason for them to have it like that. When it was first introduced in like the first minute, uh, I thought there was going to be more mechanics around that, like making it difficult to move about and that the game was going to be about figuring out those sorts of movements and then it didn't. So I'm not sure what the purpose of having you hold the space bar down to charge your jump is for right like other than it making it a little bit awkward when you have to get over to those ledges <laughs> it's uh that one's a bit out of place i'm not sure if they were planning to do more stuff like that or if uh or if it was just to make jumping a little bit more interesting jetpacks are fun i love the jetpack makes sense to have the you run out of fuel so you can't just jetpack forever when you're in a gravity situation that lets them have a lot more interesting puzzles um Yeah. I love it. Great game. But unfortunately, I have to say goodbye to it now. Well, thanks for hanging out.